Taisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect Tarot. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. You are appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Uh, Aries, this is a continuation of my series called Can You Forgive This? So uh, I am going to leave it up to spirit to guide me and let me know or prompt me and let me know if I'm supposed to do an extended or not. Okay, so you may get one, you may not. The last couple of readings have not gotten extended spirit, so to just do it all in one. So I'm here for it, you know. <laughs> I just want to thank you all for rocking with me. My channel has been growing. I appreciate you. I really genuinely do. Uh, for those of you who continuously hit me up on the live tarot line, your harmonic wave, thank you. Those of you that book me for personal readings, thank you. I appreciate you uh, for your good karma donations. I wanted to mention briefly, I had a... So I was guided to start a membership group called Woke and Woke Mom. You don't have to be a mom. It is just about um, those of you that want to be around like-minded energies, you know, frequencies that match yours. It's all about elevation. Because I am a mompreneur, I'm a mom, I, own, I run my own business, and it's just learning how to balance all of that in the 5D way from a space of higher consciousness. Each one, teach one. We're all elevating. We're all helping each other. Uh, this group, these groups, they have a lot more lives. You see me more often, more exclusive merchandise, more exclusive stuff, period. But it's really just gathering light. <laughs> That's what it is. It's gathering light. The readings in that group are a little bit different. Um, they can be kind of wild. <laughs> But it is, it is all about each of us helping each other to elevate. And that I'm very big on that. So if that's something that interests you, the join button is right there. Help yourself, okay? Okay, Aries. Let's see what we got here. Cards have already been shuffled and drawn. And we will clarify together. So you got here the devil. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. You don't have to be, though. And you have eight of swords. So... Someone had you in your head feeling trapped. Like someone could have made you feel like you could not leave them or escape them or be without them. Someone could have made you feel like you were addicted to them as well. Mm -hmm. Spirit, please clarify the devil and um, eight of swords. But this was in your head, Aries. Someone had you in your head a lot thinking that you couldn't get away from them or you had to be with them. And I, I even want to say maybe even obsessed. Mm -hmm. Or someone was obsessed with you. Put the energy where it goes. You know your story. Spirit, please clarify. Please clarify the devil and eight of swords. Seven of cups. Aries, you, you always felt like you were an option to this person. Mm -hmm. It's like you felt like you couldn't leave them, but you felt like you weren't their only one. I feel like, Aries, you just wanted to free yourself from this. You just didn't want to feel like this anymore. You didn't want to be in your head. You didn't want to be worried about what this person was doing from what they weren't doing, who they were doing it with, if they had somebody else. You just didn't want to be in your head about that anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyways, I feel like you just wanted to... Work things out. Mm -hmm. You just wanted to work things out or you just want to work things out with somebody. But somebody is very, like obsessive thoughts. Um, Aries, this, this may not even be you. I feel like some of you, 
this is the energy that you're dealing with where they are obsessing about you, worrying about if you're with somebody else and what you're doing from what you're not doing and who you're doing it with. And they just want to heal this mm -hmm. and move forward with you. They want to plant some new seeds. They want to do something different. Mm -hmm. So please clarify, death, you got death. And you have the Queen of Cups in reverse. So someone, you dead ass dealing with a Scorpio or a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. But strong Scorpio here. So please clarify death and Queen of Cups in reverse. Temperance in reverse. You lost your patience with somebody big time. Yes, you did. You could have cut someone off. You know what I'm feeling, Aries? I'm feeling like um, a pressure cooker or like a, a volcano about to erupt. Like when you've been holding stuff in for so long and you just, you burst. You want to burst. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm feeling. Like it's just right there under the surface. Like if this person said something, did something, or even looked at you the wrong way, you just would have went off on them. Mm -hmm. That's what I was feeling like. You just, you were ready. You, you were ready to go right now. I'm hearing, ready to go right now. Give me the green light. You were ready to go off on somebody. But I feel like, too, you just, you wanted things to change. Like, you were so fed up and you had enough to hear with somebody and they're bullshit. I'm going to say they're antics. Mm -hmm. Somebody who was emotionally manipulative. Someone who took your kindness for weakness. I even want to go as far as to say someone who had sociopathic tendencies. Mm -hmm. They could have had a God complex. Think that the world revolved around them. Um, they didn't really empathize with people they were good at mimicking emotions so if you were upset they would pretend to be upset but they really don't really feel that way mm -hmm. they don't know how to empathize can i get some more spirit yeah you change things change yeah queen of pentacles in reverse i feel like some of you could have been um fed up and tired of someone and their um their instability so this could have been someone who wasn't very good with money um they didn't couldn't keep a job or i'm hearing floating always floating around so this person was not very stable they may not have been helping out if you have a child or children with this person they didn't help out with the with the kids because they didn't really have it or they didn't manage their money well. The devil. Wow. The devil twice. Whoever this was, Aries, they were highly, highly toxic. And it was a very addictive relationship. Because mm -hmm. somebody felt absolutely stuck. You felt trapped, stuck. This could be a, uh, a situation where... You would get into a fight with someone and you separate from them and you could feel them pulling you. You can feel their energy calling you. Like you, you ever been around someone, but you didn't want to be around them, but you felt like you couldn't get away from them. That's this kind of energy, right? Like, wow. It's very intense. It's like someone was an addiction and you know, they weren't good for you, but you couldn't help yourself. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Okay. We're going to clarify this some more because you have you have the wheel of fortune and you have seven of swords so something was destined i feel like aries you were destined to recognize or see that someone was sneaky sneaky as shit so please clarify wheel of fortune and seven of swords or that someone was hiding something or someone was not being honest with you about something Nine of Wands, yeah. Because something was very difficult, very challenging, really exhausting. Mm -hmm. It's like you kept trying with somebody, trying to make things work. 
right? Yes. You could have gave this person a million and one chances and still all now they're not getting it. Mm -hmm. I, I just got a similar reading for, was this, what sign did I just do? Leo. No, no, no. This was Virgo. Virgo. Something similar with Virgo. And it was just absolutely exhausting to deal with somebody. And it, whoever you were dealing with, Aries, they were always hiding something. Very, very sneaky energy. And I feel like you just fucking lost your patience. Mm -hmm. Like you really lost it. You dropped it and you didn't remember where you dropped it. <laughs> like that. Because I felt, I can feel your the energy of someone who's about to fucking go off on somebody. Yeah. Like just sefe. Say something the wrong way to me. Look at me the wrong way. So I can come for your ass. Because you were just tired of it. Yeah. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Queen of Pentacles in reverse and Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This was a match. Yeah. So this person is a soulmate. But there was... So like attracts like. You are an in unstable energy. You attracted someone who was an in unstable energy. You could have been in a, a position in your life at the time with this person where you weren't very stable with your finances either. Thus, you attracted someone the same way or you were attracted to. But I feel like it was really hard being with someone who was not stable financially. Someone could have been hiding their finances or hiding the fact that they weren't all that good with money or they didn't have much money from you. Or they couldn't keep a job. There's a lot of instability here. Mm -hmm. Knight of Cups. Can I get one more, Spirit? Can I get one more? Six of Wands in reverse. It's like even... Aries, you could have loved this person a little bit more, right? But it still wouldn't have worked out. It still felt like it wasn't working. I feel like you got to a place where you were like, love is not enough. Mm -hmm. I could love you to the moon and back. It's still not going to fix what's going on. It's not going to fix what's going on within me. It's not going to fix what's going on with you. And there was a, a very strong, I want to say obsessive, addictive nature about this relationship with somebody. Like, sex could have been, like, off the chain, like, toes curled, forget your name. But there was still a lot of instability here. Like, somebody, either they were homeless all the time or I'm seeing someone walking around or they, they're driving around with bags or boxes in a car. Mm-hmm. This could have been somebody you were dealing with who would go be on and off with people because they needed a place to stay. Like a homosexual. It's like as much as you love this person, it wasn't going to change anything. The, your love wasn't changing anything. Hmm. But you were supposed to go through this with this person. Mm -hmm. This was destiny. This was a part of your contract with this person. Because this is a match here. I feel like this person wants to teach you, Aries, how to be more stable within yourself and stable in your world, right? Taking care of your finances, managing your money better. I feel like this person mirrored you back to them. Um, you back to yourself, I mean. Because look at this. There's two devils here. There's two devils here, and both devils are um, upright. You see that? From two different decks. And then there's, there's a match here. There's king and queen of pentacles in reverse. So you both had the same energy at some point in time, Aries. 
right? So it's not, you can't even blame this person because this person was directly showing you aspects of yourself mm -hmm. that you needed to work on. So you don't need to, you don't need to do nothing, but it would have been wise or it would be wise for you to work on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and look at the bottom of the deck, you have death again, upright, right? Things that you need to work on, things you need to change and transform about yourself. This is what this person was here to show you. Wow. Fascinating. <laughs> I wanted to pull some on. Um, so can I get some on the... Um, Can I get some on this uh, Seven of Swords? Can I get some on the Seven of Swords? What was being hidden? What really was being hidden? Oh, okay. That someone was focused. Oh, okay. Let me get some more. Let me get some more. Ah, you see how the story unfolds? Okay, look at that. This is my appreciation card. This is not so much about, can you forgive this? This is, have you learned the lesson? Because this person was here to teach you about things that you need to work on within yourself. That's what was being hidden. This, it was destiny for this to happen with this person. You were gonna meet this person at some point in time on your journey, and they were gonna mirror you back to you. Mm -hmm. They're gonna show you yourself because they're going to act the way you act, Aries. Mm -hmm. So spirit doesn't want you to forgive this. Spirit wants you to be appreciative of this experience. Now, before you start cussing, okay, and want to come tell me about myself, um, just hear me out. Hear me out. Just hear spirit out. You know, sometimes we don't like to look in the mirror at ourselves, right? Most times we don't. We don't like to hear any bad things about ourselves and, and our flaws and stuff, but it takes maturity, right? To recognize that you have some shit that is going on because there could have been some addictions here. There there was some addictions here. It could be drinking, it could be sex. Sex was a big one. Mm -hmm. But Spirit wants you to pay attention to the lesson. It's, it's what have you learned? What did you realize about this experience, about yourself, that you are going to be making changes, that you are going to transform? There's some things, some aspects of yourself I'm hearing daily, I die. So this is um, death of the ego, okay? Because someone could have been very arrogant in that sociopathic energy, okay? Sociopathic tendencies, Energy of thinking that the world revolved around them and their shit don't stink and you need to do what they say and, and, and do things the way they want it done. I'm hearing my way or the highway. And I feel like it was two people, you and somebody else, Aries. And this person treated you the way how you, you both treated each other the same way. Like you were giving each other back the energy you were getting from them full circle here and spirit wanted this person to show you aspects of yourself that it is time to let die mm -hmm. let go let it change let it evolve so like i said this isn't about a matter of can you forgive this this is spirit wants you to be appreciative of this and pay attention have you learned the lesson because someone in this collective you got a really big lesson on stability and security that it starts from you. You need to feel stable and secure within yourself so you're not running down people and obsessing about what they're doing and what they're not doing and who they're doing it with and just be like, I'm cool with me. Go live your life. You want to sleep with other people? Go ahead. It's your body. You can do whatever you want to do with it. I'm going to do what I want to do with my body. This uh, was a lesson in learning how to drop uh, bad habits. Okay, because someone in this collective, uh, you were dealing with a sex addict because you had those tendencies too. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
because I, I'm hearing celibacy. Some of you, you could have gone celibate or spirit is advising you to take a little sabbatical, right? And, and give it a rest, okay? Give below the belt a rest, right? This is going to help you to change things, transform that area of your life where you felt like you needed to um, have that kind of physical contact with someone because spirit is saying there's a difference between lust and love. Mm -hmm. Did you learn the lesson? Okay, okay. So can I get one on... Uh... <laughs> wow. Not that deck. I was going to say something and I heard no. <laughs> okay, fine then. Fine then. Spirit, can I get one on um, this Five of Swords in reverse? Can I get one on Five of Swords in reverse, please? Thank you. Justice in reverse. Yeah. I feel like you kept trying to go... Um, make things better with somebody who was unfair to you. But I feel like you both mistreated each other. Now, some of you in this collective, you may beg to differ. But I also feel like some of you had a past life with this person. And I say that because of the Wheel of Fortune. Mm -hmm. You may have had a past life with this person and you could have been the aggressor or... You know, because it, it's like a dance that keeps happening between you two and this person. And spirit is like, did you learn the lesson? Because you know it stops once you learn the lesson, right? And if you don't know, now you know. Wow. Okay, spirit, any last words of guidance and advice for the beautiful Aries Collective? Any last words of guidance and advice? Thank you. Um... I'm being told to tell someone in this collective, focus on your bag, focus on your money, focus on your stability and your security within yourself. Someone, Spirit wants you to work on your self-esteem. Mm -hmm. Feeling better about yourself, um, recognizing your worth. Wow, okay. Let me see, Got one, okay, I just said this, I'm gonna take them all. I'm going to take them all. Let me show you, Aries. you got seven chakra archangel Uriel. You have woman holding a coin. I can't make this up. I just said that. It's in reverse. And you have the garden and the gate. And there's a lot of purple on these cards. So for some of you, uh, I'm speaking to someone who would stay with people because of issues with instability. So you may not have a place to stay or... Spirit said mismanagement of money or a very high debt load. Spirit wants you to listen to your intuition on things to do, ways to go about managing your money. You may need to get, or it would be wise for you to get a money manager or someone to help you manage your finances better. I'm hearing saving, someone to help save. Someone, Spirit wants you to do um, automatic debt reduction. So that's like, Every month, you, you set like a pre-authorized payment that comes out of your checking account and goes towards paying off debt. Mm -hmm. Someone in this collective spirit said, don't file for bankruptcy. It's not as bad as you think it is. You just need to get organized when it comes to your finances. This has to do with, um, I'm hearing miscellaneous expenses. So you may spend a lot of money on stuff that's really not important. Spirit wants you to focus on only the things that are important right now. So that if that you have to bring it back to the basics of just um, food, shelter, clothes, um, if you have a car, car payments, like just, just the bare basics of what you need right now, and then you build yourself back up again. Also, someone in this collective spirit wants you to stop thinking about doing something and actually do it. Make a move to do something. If you've been thinking about going to speak to someone about your finances or talk to them about your debt, go ahead. Spirit also doesn't want someone in this collective to think that they need to stay with people because they can't manage on their own because you can. You just need to get your finances in order. You don't have to stay with anybody because you feel like you can't afford it out there on your own. You absolutely can. Listen to your intuition. You are getting downloads. You may be getting dreams. 
that your higher self is speaking to you. Listen to your intuition. You know what to do already. This is a matter of just doing it. And uh, I'm hearing analysis paralysis. So this is getting stuck thinking about something so much so to the point where you do nothing. Okay? So spirits, like, you don't need to think about this so much. Just listen to your instincts, follow your intuition, and do it now. You're at the point, you're at the place where you should just be doing it now. No more contemplating. It's like, are you doing this or not, man? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Spirit, can I get one last word of guidance and advice? One last word of practical guidance and advice. So as you can see, I'm not going to be going into an extended with this Aries. So we're going to get one last word of guidance and advice. Thank you. This is meant to be, okay? And this goes back to, this is confirmation. This goes back to this wheel of fortune, destiny. Something is supposed to happen. Accept the feelings in your heart as truth in this situation. So this is recognizing the truth of something and doing what you got to do to make the necessary changes. You're in the right place at the right time. Doors are opening for you. Take a leap of faith and walk through them now. Oh my God, I just said this. Spirit said, stop thinking about it and just do it already. Just trust, okay? Take that leap of faith. New opportunities will appear at the perfect time. You're fully supported on your journey. So Spirit wants you to know that you ha they have your back, okay? You are supported, you are taken care of, you are loved, and you are protected. So you don't need to worry about doing something anymore. Just do it. Take that first step. That's it. Spirit wants you to know that this is supposed to happen. So you're right where you're supposed to be, okay? You have nothing to lose and everything to gain at this point. Wow. Okay, Aries, this is what I have for you, honey. If any of this resonates, smash that like button. If not, that's cool another time. With that being said, do have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.